Hey guys, Dr. Josh Axe here along with Dr. Jessica Knox and Dr. Rachel Knox. They are known as the Knox Docs and they are experts uh, experts and medical doctors on the endocannabinoid system. So we're gonna talk mm -hmm. about that right now. Specifically, what is the endocannabinoid system? Yeah, so the endocannabinoid system is this amazing and fascinating complex biochemical system inside of all vertebrate and invertebrate life. Its role is to keep us in perfect balance. We call that homeostasis. In, you know, in, at a very high level, we say it helps with eating, sleeping, relaxing, forgetting, and protecting wow. inside of our bodies. Wow, mm -hmm. so it's pretty amazing. And I know one of the things that I, I know I've seen and read about is that it's connected to a lot of different areas of your body, a lot of different organ systems. So w what are those organ systems and how does the end endocannabinoid system affect those? Yeah, one of the primary systems that we always talk about the endocannabinoid system regulating is our nervous system. So our brain has a very high concentration of cannabinoid receptors, which are the little receptors that will interact with our endocannabinoids that our body makes itself, yeah. and also the exocannabinoids that come from our environment, whether that's from plants or herbs or spices um, or any number of things. So the central nervous system, obviously that's going to work on things like sleep. Yeah. And that, that's one of the reasons that the endocannabinoid system is so powerful for people. So talk to me about how so this endocannabinoid system, how does that relate to different types of cannabinoids? What are the cannabinoids? And one other thing, just throwing these out there that I've read about is, you know, I've, I've read that there are cannabinoids in certain or cannabinoid mimickers in certain yeah. foods or essential oils or other herbs out there. I know that's like 30 questions, but <laughs> what, are your, what are your thoughts on all that? Yeah, so there are cannabinoids and then there's something called cannabimimetic substances or practices even. One thing that fascinates me about the endocannabinoid system is that this is a personal belief, but I think it's finally the, the, the biologic physical model that validates classical ancient Chinese medicine mm. and Ayurveda. And they've been using cannabimimetic practices this whole time. Wow. Yoga, acupuncture, meditation, prayer, sleep. Those are cannabimimetic practices that we can all do every single day yeah. that help tone that endocannabinoid system. So whether it's cannabis and the cannabinoids that come from it or herbs and spices that have terpenes or uh, beta caryophyllin we might get into a little later that's in black pepper but yeah. we actually think that's a cannabinoid um, so my point is that these substances exist in nature and we can use them as supplementation but we can also implement practices that tone the endocannabinoid system too I love that so tell me this how, how do how do the different cannabinoids um, affect our are, are the, the endocannabinoid system, everything from CBD to CBN, CBC, CBG, and even THC, how do those interact and affect the, that system differently? Oh, that's a big question. I know, I know. <laughs> um, so we'll start with the cannabis plant, and you already mentioned some of the, the major cannabinoids, which are THC and CBD, which certainly are the two that we have the most research and evidence on. Um, and then there are lots of other, I mean, there's what, right. hundreds yeah. of other cannabinoids in the plant, and some of the major ones you mentioned, CBN, CBG, um, et cetera. So THC is a cannabinoid that actually works very much like one of our endocannabinoids that our body makes itself. That's called anandamide, or mm. the, it's a, the bliss molecule. Both of those will work directly, meaning they will bind directly to a cannabinoid receptor, whereas CBD works sort of indirectly. It won't bind a receptor directly, but it will sort of change the way that that receptor works with THC or works with our other endocannabinoids. Mm -hmm. So CBD is sort of like a gentler sort of modulator of the way that system works. Okay. Yeah, that's really interesting because, you know, uh, one of the things that people, I think a misconception they have is that they'll use the term that CBD is uh, non-psychoactive and THC is, right. but, but that's false. You know, I've read things that you guys have written on that. So explain to me about a little bit more about this CBD, THC, how they function differently in the body. And is CBD really non-psychoactive? And psychoactive might be a great thing, right? Yeah. So yeah, so CBD is very much psychoactive. And I like to bring everyone back to the definition of what psychoactivity 
is and what it means. And it's anything that changes brain function or mood or behavior. And CBD does all of those things. CBD, like all of the cannabinoids, is lipophilic, meaning it can cross fatty barriers like the blood brain barrier. And therefore, it can directly work on that central nervous system. And that's what CBD does. And you know, some of the common reasons that we use CBD are psycho or neuromodulating. So I think by definition, CBD is psychoactive, just not in the same way that THC is. So I like to say CBD is non-euphoric or dysphoric, and it's non-intoxicating, while THC has the potential to be those things. I love that, and that's, that, that's a, a great, probably one of the best explanations I've ever heard on it as well. And we know that you know, there's lots of essential oils and things that have been used for thousands of years that have you know, maybe some of those similar, but we know lavender is relaxing. We know that uh, clove with eugenol is very uplifting, and so um, that's, a, that's a great explanation. So I wanna say to everybody watching this, um, the endocannabinoid system is a powerful system, as the Knox docs here have talked about, that's connected to Number one, our brain and central nervous system, our guts, our different hormonal systems. And so I wanna say thanks everybody for watching this and uh, check out more here about the Knox docs and more about what they do in teaching other doctors in the world about endocannabinology. Is, am I saying that yes. right? Yeah. There we go. All right, thanks guys. <laughs>